crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. I'm so excited to be joining you for the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo today, and I want to show you how to make a pair of easy light-up cards. We're actually going to make two different ones. If the thought of making light-up cards has been something that has intrigued you, but it seems a little scary or hard to do, you're going to be so glad you tuned in today. I'm going to show you how my easy lights work, but we'll get to those in just a second. Before we do that, I want to show you a couple new products that are in my shop right now. If you ever color along for the 30 day coloring challenge, you know who Kathy Rakusin is and you know that she has awesome coloring tips. Um, in our shop, we've got her new clipboard, which um, is clear acrylic, well, I'm sorry, not clear, smoke colored acrylic, and it's got her coloring tips silk screened on. The reason we're carrying that in the shop is because Kathy and I work together to make these collapsible marker bags, which we just released this summer, and man, oh man, they have been a huge hit. We can't hardly keep them in stock, but lucky for you, we just got a big batch in. Now, the thing that's really cool about these bags is that they collapse down into a cup. You can see, you can set it on your desk, pull out your markers, but the nice thing about it is that you can see all of your markers in there. You have full access to them while you're working with them, but then when you're ready to go, you just lift up, zip up, and you can take it to go. I like to pair my clipboard and my marker bags and take them to my couch. <laughs> It's been hot in my craft room, which is out in the garage, so I've been coloring inside lately. Um, with every order of the marker bags or the clipboards there, uh, we do send a little postcard that has more information about Kathy's classes and the coloring challenges. Um, the back side is fun because you can color it in and turn it into a card. Uh, it's actually pear blossoms, but you can see I, I turned it into a little Christmas card there. I want to let you know that the um, bags and the clipboards are available individually or you can get them together in a bundle, uh, two bags and a clipboard. We also have uh, bundles of just the bags. So if you need multiple bags because you have lots of markers, um, you can get a three pack, six pack, or even a 12 pack. And people ask me how many markers fit in a bag. You can fit uh, 30 Copic sketch markers in a bag, 36 Korean markers. Um, and we also designed them to be tall enough to fit all of the uh, standard markers out there. They will fit your Tombos, your Spectrum Noir markers, but not the Tri-Blends. Those are a little too tall. Head on over to the shop. You can find all the details and pick up your favorite bundle today. And I want to let you know, just for our special Stamp and Scrapbook Expo viewers, we've got the show special. You can get 25% off your cart before tax and shipping. So that's a great deal. It's good for one week only. All right, let's dive into our easy lights for our light up carts. If you've never seen these before, they are really cool. Um, my husband and I invented these. You get packs of two, three, five, or even 20 each. Each easy light comes with three lights already hardwired on it. They come with batteries as well. So you just slip the battery in. The little purple button down underneath the battery is your switch. And then you'll see you have the three wires. Don't let those wires scare you. The wires are your friends. They're there so that you can move the lights anywhere you want them on your card or your scrapbook page, even your journals. And then you just cover them up and you're ready to go. So here is a look at a Halloween card that I made last year, I believe it was, and it's still going strong. <laughs> um, so you can see I just taped down my lights, taped down the battery pack. I used scotch tape to cover those up. And then I cut holes for the jack-o'-lantern faces and put vellum on top of that. I do like to color the vellum with Copic markers to add color to my windows, but uh, that's up to you. I do have a double layer of foam tape around the edges there because we need to account for the thickness of the battery. You can see I've marked push right on top of that and it lights up. So I love how fast and easy these are to use. It allows me all the time that I want to spend on actually the, the fun parts of card making and I don't have to be you know a major engineer to get the lights to work. And I do want to show you that these are also perfect for box cards, uh, things like that. This is a, a tunnel, um, this is actually the tunnel swan card from iCrafter and I have a video showing you how to make that on my YouTube channel if you're interested. 
So again, if you're tuning in late, here is one of our easy lights. You just slip in the battery. You have three lights ready to go. And then we're going to make two different cards, but they look almost identical. I, I want to show you two different techniques, uh, two different ways of lighting up the candles on top. So for both cards, I stamped my candles and my cake. I masked them off and then I ink blended the background. This is a stamp set from the Rabbit Hole Designs called Celebrate with Cake. And for the little push here button, I'm going to use this Heffy Doodle Interactively Yours stamp set. I do carry this set in my shop because it has lots of different interactive words and it's even got some fun like to from and things like that in there. But for interactive cards, this is a great set. You can see I've already stamped the word push or the words push here on my cake base there. And let's uh, get that one out of the way so that we can start on this one. For this technique, we're going to light up some gems. These happen to be raindrop shaped gems and they are perfect for candle flames. And I actually carry these in my shop too, as well as a whole slew of other gems that are perfect for the same technique. So keep that in mind. You can, you can light up all kinds of different shaped gems. Uh, anyone that doesn't have silver on the back should be able to work as long as it's semi-translucent. So the first thing I'm going to do is poke a hole at the base of each one of my candles there. I'm just using a little pokey tool. You can use a 16th inch punch if you have one as well. And then I want to mark on the back side of my panel where I have the push here. So I'm holding it up to the light and then I can see through and see the words where I stamped push here. I just want to mark that so that I know where to stick the button. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab some really strong double stick tape. This is super tape. I like this. You could use wet glue as well, but you'd have to wait for it to dry. So I, I do prefer the double stick tape. I'm going to go ahead and stick uh, stick it down and then peel up my release paper and then I want to line up that dot that I drew with the purple button on our easy light and then push it down and then now we just need to tuck our little lights into the holes and I will show you here the lights have um, there's a the top part the little yellow dot is the light itself and if you flip it over there are little blue and red wires that you can see so you just want to make sure that you have the light pointing in the direction that you want it to go in this case we're going to want to point the yellow dot into the hole so that it'll come through the front of the card it'll actually work the other way as well but it'll look better this way. So I'm just tucking the little yellow dot into the first hole and then taping it down with scotch tape. And I'll do the same thing with the next one. Just line it up. And I'm just gonna make sure that hole is big enough there and then tape it in place. So far it's not hard, right? And we'll do the same thing for the last one. Now imagine if these are stars in the sky and you can put these lights wherever you want. So we have our three lights taped in place. You can see that. Now when we flip it back over, we've got our wires that are a little bit loose. So what I like to do is take them and then just kind of gently curl them up. I don't want to put any big kink into the wires because that could actually damage the wire and then cause one of your lights to stop working. So just put gentle curves into it and tape it down with more scotch tape. And you have it nice and clean on the back. Now we need to put it onto our card base, but we need to account for the thickness of the battery. And that's about the width or the, the thickness of a double layer of foam tape. In my shop, I carry this awesome double thick foam tape. Uh, this is, it's actually really cool because the release paper comes off so nicely. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know about you, but I hate having to struggle with release paper. It's really frustrating. And this stuff is awesome. Um, so I keep it in the shop specifically for this. It's also great for shaker cards. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover a good portion of my back panel here. You can see I don't have it everywhere. I just want some support so it doesn't sag here and there. And you don't need to put anywhere you have the, the battery pack at all. And you can see that release paper just pulls right up. It just, it's so nice. <laughs> um, so I'll pull that all off. And then I'm going to just stick this to my card base. 
kind of line it up there. I give myself about a half inch all the way around just for a nice border. And now you can see we have lights, but the light is concentrated just down at the very bottom. So that's why we want to add our gems. When we add our gems on top, the whole gem will light up and then that will make the whole flame light up, not just the a little hot spot down at the bottom of the base of the light. So I've got my little raindrop shaped gems. I've got Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and a Jewel Picker. These are it's a good combo when you're putting sequins or gems down. I uh, just go ahead and pick them up with the, the uh, jewel picker. And then you can see I'm kind of moving it around and pressing the button as I need to, just to make sure that I get it lined up exactly right. And when I press the button, I can see, um, I can kind of center it up so that I make sure that I get the whole light lighting or the whole gem lighting up. And I am using a glue that will dry clear. So you want to make sure that you do that. But you can see it's just that simple. We have three candles that light up. And this card is done. So now let's work on the second card. For this card, I want to light up a window. Instead of putting a gem on top of the light, we're actually going to cut little windows, put the lights behind, and then illuminate from the back. If you're just tuning in, we're working with easy lights. They are super simple. You've got directions on the back just in case, but all you need to do is put in the battery, press the purple button, and you have three lights that light up. They're at the end of wires that you can place wherever you want them to go. So you can control where you want the lights to be. So since we need windows, we can either cut them out with an X-Acto knife or look through our stash to see if we have a good die. I happen to have a raindrop die, which is perfect because <laughs> raindrops are the same shape as candle flames. So I'm just going to go ahead and line this up. Um, incidentally, the uh, products that I'm using for my cards today, I do have links down. Um, they'll be in the description for you. And also all of the sample cards that I'll show you at the end, I'll have information on those as well. So I've got, I've run that through my die cut machine off camera, and then I'm going to do the same thing two more times so that I have all three of my flames cut out. And a little pokey tool helps if you need it. But you can see I've got windows right behind the flames. And we're going to cover those up with vellum. But before we do that, it's a good idea to mark with a pencil onto your card base where you want the lights to be. So what you do is you just kind of put the pencil at the bottom of the flame there. And then where I've got it stamped push here, I hovered my pencil above it, pulled out that little um, panel, and then I could mark on the base there. So I've got my three dots for the lights. I've got the dot where I want my push here button to go. I'm adding tape to the back of my easy light. I'll pull off the release paper and then I can go ahead and stick it down. I want to line it up there over that, that dot that I drew. And then this time, instead of having the lights go through a hole, they're actually going to point up. So I want to make sure that the yellow dot is facing up towards me. And I'm just uh, going to use some scotch tape to tape them down. You can use washi tape or whatever you'd like. I like scotch tape because I can put the tape right on top of the light and the light will still come right through. So I'm going to do that for each light. And again, I'm just making sure that the yellow dot is pointing up towards me. Um, don't worry about heat or anything like that. These lights do not get hot. So that's not an issue. And then you can see we've got our lights in place. We have that extra um, wire that's kind of loose there. And again, I'm just going to coil it up a little bit. I'm not putting any sharp kinks or bends in it. And I'll use another piece of tape to just tape it down. You can see lights are in place and it's ready to go. Now we need to cover our windows. So we're going to use a piece of vellum. Um, I just have some white vellum here and I want to color it. I'm going to use my Copic markers. And if you're tuning in a little bit late and you missed the beginning, this is my um, 
collapsible marker bag that I made with Kathy Rakusin, and I'm coloring on top of her clipboards that also have her top 10 coloring tips. We have those available in the shop. They are awesome. <laughs> um, so people ask me if you can color the lights. The answer is yes, but the light is very tiny, so very little pigment would actually show. If you really want to change the color of the light, the best way to do it is to make a window out of vellum like this and then color it with your Copic markers. So you can see I've got the colorful vellum there, and you can add lots of detail that way and variegation of color, that kind of thing. So I'll just go ahead and glue it in place. This is a uh, fine line bottle with PVA glue. Any glue will work, whatever you like. And I do like to use tweezers for things like this just to get my fingers out of the way and make sure I can see where I'm lining it up. So once we've got our vellum in place, we are ready to stick it to the front of our card, cover up the lights there. And so I'm gonna bring in my double thick foam tape again. Uh, remember the battery is the thickness of two layers of foam tape. This is already a double thick foam tape. So it's uh, it's great stuff. And I really, really like the release paper on it. It comes off very nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the tape all around the edges of my panel. I wanna make sure not to cover up the windows on my panel at all. If you do cover them up, then the light can't show through. And for the inside portion of the card, I wasn't sure exactly where to put the tape so that I wouldn't hit the, the easy light itself. So I just stuck it on the front of the card. You can see that. It's, so I've got foam on both sides, but it's not um, touching each other. And then I'll peel off the release paper and I can go ahead and stick it down. And then just like that, this card is done. Isn't that fun? You can see them both side by side here. So on the right we've got our gems and then on the left we've got the vellum windows. And remember vellum windows can be used for actual windows on houses, spooky eyes, bigger areas, things like that. The vellum works really nicely. And so let's look at a few more light up cards. Uh, this is another trick if you're going to mail a light up card like this. You can tuck a piece of cardstock underneath the battery and then have the recipient pull it out so that the battery doesn't get worn out in mail. And you can see I lit up three gems there as well. Those are star shapes. It's a funny little card. It says, poof, you're 29 again on the inside. <laughs> um, that's a whimsy stamp set. This is a Gina K stamp set. Uh, and I made this card really quickly. They're solid stamps, so it was, it was a fast and easy card to make. You could line that up in the Misty and make a bunch of these really quick. And again, just lighting up the gems. For this card, I've got Rudolph, and this is a, spell dine, a Spellbinders die set. She's really pretty, and the cool thing about it is her head is big enough that I fit my easy light behind it. I just wrapped up the, uh, coiled up the wires around it, and then I put all three lights on the tip of the nose, and I used a glue dot to hold it. Let's look at a box card here. This one is very similar to the uh, vellum card that we just made. I made vellum windows for the lights there. And then instead of just building it on a flat card, I built it on the base of a box card. So you can see I marked push here underneath, and now we have a box card that lights up. So this is a really fun Christmas card to mail, someone special. And then I'll show you my swan card again in case you came in a little bit late and missed it at the beginning. This is an iCrafter die set and I just tucked the the lights in to the vines there and it looks really pretty. And then one more time my Halloween card that you can see I've got uh, vellum windows there just like we did for our last card. I've got my easy light taped down marked where the button is and it's good to go. One final card. This is the one I made using the postcard that comes with our collapsible marker bags. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to see more cards like this in the future, feel free to follow me over on YouTube or on Instagram. I'm at Pear Blossom Press. Don't forget to take advantage of the show special. It's good for one week only. You get 25% 
off of everything in the shop. We've got our easy lights, we've got our collapsible marker bags and the clipboards that feature Kathy Rakusin's top 10 coloring tips. If you tuned in late and missed the collapsible marker bag, it's really cool. Uh, something we designed together holds your markers and it sits on your desk like a cup. And then when you're ready to uh, close up for the day, you can just zip it up and it's ready to go. Also in our shop, we have lots of other light up card um, products that help out. We've got this interactively yours stamp set. We've got a whole selection of gems and then that double thick foam tape that I just love the release paper that that is perfect. Um, I hope that you've had fun. I hope you'll give this a try and thanks so much for joining me today.